What's up guys? I just reviewed the Lorenzo's. Doing poppers now. I'm here due to popular demand. You guys wanted me here. I'm here. Let's go eat. Century old establishment. Uh, Lorenzo's was like 80 something years old. This place over 100 years. Family owned and operated. Still owned by the same family. Not the original location. The original location was in Trenton. This place is a uh, second location. So here we go. Here we go. Large pie. Come on. We do pies here. We do pies on this channel, guys. We do pies. I don't know what's going on there. Little zit. Pizza's got a little pimple. Smells delicious. This feels different than DiLorenzo's. I think I'm going to like it better. You see how pliable that crust is? Thin, but also pliable. Not as thin as DiLorenzo's, which, believe it or not, I prefer that. I like my pizza crust to be thin, but like, you know, like like the Farah. Like, the not too thin, you know, not too tavernish, Not like a tavern style, you know. This is more of a of a sauce. The Lorenzo's just crush their tomatoes. Lots of sauce. Nice pliability. Crackling as you fold it. Not too much, but not too bad either. Not as charred as the Lorenzo's. Little flop going. No char on the undercarriage at all. Mmm. Is that enough sauce for you guys? Is that enough? Someone pass me a spoon, please. Hmm. All right, guys, let's move on in and analyze this fantastic classic pizza. A 100-year-old recipe. Now, they call them tomato pies around here in this uh, part of town, in the wonderful, beautiful town of Robbinsville, New Jersey. Let's face it. Look at all that tomato sauce. Yes, the sauce is on top of the cheese, just like uh, De Lorenzo's. But uh, unlike De Lorenzo's, this is more of a sauce. This is more of a simmered sauce, whereas De Lorenzo's, which I just had, had crushed tomatoes on it. The sauce was excellent on this pizza. Excellent. Excellent. It's just tomato. It's just pureed tomato possibly simmered uh, nowhere near as pulpy as the Lorenzo's but you may find some chunks of tomato scattered throughout this wonderful beautiful rich tomato sauce guys really good no acid did not have any sourness to it you get strong pungent zesty robust flavor the sauce is a little more robust than the de Lorenzo's uh tomato pie because maybe they simmer it and when you simmer tomato it does get a little more uh you know it sweetens up a little bit the recipe for this sauce is absolutely perfect and it kind of reminded me of lmb a little bit it's very robust i like that cheese a lot more it's low moisture mozzarella but damn was it full of flavor and i'll tell you why first and foremost they're throwing in that hard cheese. I think that's some of it right there. They're blending in that pecorino with that low moisture cheese. And you're getting a nice salty tang, a little sharpness to it, a little nuttiness. Just more all around flavor in that cheese. It was delicious. No grease, lots of cheese on this pizza. Hardly any grease, nothing dripping, nothing ever on my hand. Look at that. Bubbles, look, I'm not going to really complain about that. I don't like to see a lot of bubbles in the middle of the pizza. I prefer them over here. Because then when you see them over here in the middle, that's like three square inches right here, or more like two square inches of pizza where there should be some sauce and cheese, and there isn't. So if the bubbles are here, I don't mind. A little bubble in the back. When they're in the middle over there, I, uh, you know, I get a little pissed off. But look, it's only one. If this thing was laden with bubbles all over the middle of the pie, it would have docked points. So I'm not going to dock for that. Now, the crust, guys. The foundation of every pizza is its foundation, no pun intended. This has to be one of the most delicious pizzas. This has to be one of the most delicious crusts I've had that 
had zero char on it. Zero char. And that's how they compete. I bet you there's a couple of people that come here specifically because they may not prefer the, the char on the De Lorenzo's pie, which is two blocks away. So they come here. You know what? It doesn't need it. I mean, it's not a pale pizza. This is not a pale pizza. It's not pale where I'm, I'm going to move it down the scale. Now, this pizza, despite not having any char, which I love. I love a little bitterness from that char, especially with a sweet, sweet tomato sauce. Especially with a sweet tomato sauce, a little bitterness to go with that sweetness. Nice contrast. Doesn't matter in this case, man, because the crust had a delicious taste to it. It's nice and airy. There's air pockets. Very light, and it's pliable, guys. It's got a slightly soft center with a crispy outer shell. That's how I like my pizza crust, my thin pizza crust. A little little cornicione, a little airiness in the back, nice and thin. I want to take a minute or so to talk about bread making and uh, pizza crust engineering. You know, this crust here is fantastic. It's charred on top. It's nice and well done on top light brown to dark brown underneath no char at all it just shows you how every oven is so different every pizza dough recipe is so different despite being such a simple food three ingredients bread cheese sauce and yet not one pizza is alike okay maybe some is more similar to each other than others but it's, it's, it's just fascinating, man. Pizza truly is an art form. And not just an art form. It's science. That's right. Pizza is science. The art of making pizza is a science. You can't have art without science. You can't have science without art. And uh, you can't have pizza without both. Pizza gets cold. We give it another fold, guys. That's right. That's what we do here when the pizza gets cold. Still crackling and still flopping. The flavor, the flavor, guys. And that's why I'm rating this higher than De Lorenzo's. This is going to get the 8.8, .8, short of the 9, but a little better than De Lorenzo's. I enjoyed this better than De Lorenzo's despite having no char underneath. If it did, I probably would have put this into the 9s, guys, because it's got everything I love. It's got that, uh, I'm more of a fresh mozzarella guy. This is not fresh, but it's that low moisture cheese that's more like a 60% fat as opposed to 70%. It's got more flavor, you know? And when you mix in that hard pecorino, oh. Little flop going. If this thing was charred a little bit, look, that's pizza, man. Sometimes you like the sauce better at Di Lorenzo's, but you like the cheese better on, on a Papa's, you know? You love the char on the De Lorenzo's, but you like the crust better uh, on the Papa's. So it's like you're adding points for one thing, you're taking points away for another thing. You know, I like this crust better. It's just uh, maybe it's because I'm not a thin crust guy, and th and this pizza is a little, a little thicker. If you're gonna call your place a tomato pie place, you better make sure that sauce is good. They delivered, just like. I'm telling you, these tomato pie places here in Robbinsville, they got every right to call themselves tomato pies, man. Because that sauce, I've had some really good pizza sauce today. I had De Lorenzo's early for lunch. At 6 o'clock now, I'm having Papa's. What a day. What a day. Had a nice experience here in Robbinsville. I really recommend you guys come down here. You do De Lorenzo's, and then you come here to Papa's. You do the 1-2, man. The 1-2 double punch. Woo! Hope you guys enjoyed the review. Like, share, subscribe. It would help me out a bit. Do appreciate it. And uh, yeah, follow me up on the gram too, man. I'm on Instagram now. Link is included in the description section of this video. Until next time, guys. Keep those bellies full, preferably with some amazing pizza such as this. <whistles> Robbinsville, man. Wow. Until next time, this is Antonio signing off.